Yeah, I think right now he's just got a good thing going. Like, and I don't really know if the NHL too. Like again, we were just talking about how it's like very, like the vibes aren't super high. I just don't know if that's a situation right now if they really want to bring him into. And again, like I think even Bill Guerin said it or someone said it. Um, they're not going to call him up expecting him to be the answer and solve all the problems because I think that's a mistake. Obviously, like for me, I'm still on the camp just with the way the Minnesota is going and what they would be asking him to do probably i think the better solution would be to let him keep playing in iowa let him lead that team into the playoffs and let him go on a deep playoff run i do think like yeah I, i'm sure we'll see him at some point whether it's towards the end of the season for a stretch of games or you know we'll see how it happens after the deadline who's still there who's not um mm-hmm. and really what the team outlook is i guess but for me the answer still is are like the best um situation for him would be let him keep doing what he's doing like he's playing 20 minutes a night versus coming up to minnesota playing eight nine ten on the fourth line um you know if you really want to see what you have with him and put him on a line with boldy or put him on a line with kaprizov then sure if you want to give that a trial run i also really wouldn't want to fuck with his head be like all right let's uh you have three games to show us what you got next to kaprizov or boldy let's see if you uh let's see if you're a top six center right now um i think that's probably a mistake um but again he's just playing really well i think he's in a good situation he's playing confident and he looks like he's just enjoying hockey right now and again he's got somewhat less of a spotlight and like you said there are two very vocal camps where it's like no let him stay and then there's other like get him the fuck up here (laughs) freddie goudreau stinks (laughs) get him off the team (laughs) <laughs> of all the people to target, he's probably the last I know. one after. <laughs> I feel, that poor bastard, no matter what he does, everyone's like, fuck it, Freddie Goudreau. He's like, they'll lose 8 2. He's got both goals. Like, fuck, yeah, Goudreau's going to go. He's the problem. Dean's boyfriend. <laughs> Not his boyfriend, his son. Son. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm part of that problem. I Every time he scores a goal, I share the video and I just all caps Freddie Everson. <laughs> but that's not like uh, that's not the only reason he's playing. We just can't ignore nice. the fact that Dean absolutely Dean loves Freddie Goudreau more than he loves punching Darby. <laughs> Dude, that last Darby punch was incredible. <laughs> what if Darby starts giving it back to him? Because at the end, like right before they panned away, Darby squared up. Dude, it's like <laughs> oh, it's so good. That was so funny. That was the last one. He was fired up. He he wound up. And Darby was just like covering himself. He just unloads. <laughs> you know Dude, what though, uh, man? Like that that tells you everything you need to know though about where this team is at. Like right. how much they've been hurting and like how big it was to just squeak out one win. Like you saw it right there. Yeah. And I mean again though, like that's a really good New Jersey team. I know they didn't have to use whatever. Um but like Again, like we just see flashes where it's like, okay, where is that for 60 minutes? 